Hey guys, Bubba Sawyer here, coming at you with a long overdue video. Last time you seen me, my hair probably wasn't this long, but before we get started, you might say, Bubba, you know, why does this video concern you? Well, why does this topic concern you, etc.? Well, you know, when there's an accident with a firearm, somebody's being careless, you know, I like to step in, especially if it's a revolver. Because you know how I like revolvers really well. But I do have a semi-auto uh, 1911 Kimber Coat 45 frame. But anyway, so th this what supposedly happened that I've been saying is this Alec Baldwin was filming on the set for some western movie. I don't know the name of it, but it's John Snyder. Uh, the one that played Bo Dukes touched on it. I'm going to touch on it because if you all don't watch him and you watch me, you know, and you're a firearm enthusiast, you know. But here we got a, this is an EAA. If you don't know, it's a European American Arms. This is a replica of firing. This is not no paperweight. This is a replica EAA European American Arms Colt. 45. Now, this is not a Coke brand, but it's a replica of the Wild West, uh, specifically the Haas Cartwright gun, I should say. Sorry, got tongue tied. Haas Cartwright from Bonanza. Check it out. Yeah, I took the wooden grips off and put these imitation ivory ones on. But anyway, you always, on these, you half cock it. And you make sure there's no bullets in there. See that it holds six shots. Or you can look through here. Or you can push this button on the side. Got to half cock it. Push this button and pull this out. reason I'm not doing it inside is because the baby is asleep. And my woman's asleep. She's not feeling good. But anyway, see this? It's empty, okay? So this is for the video I'm showing you. I'm not careless. But anyway, let me get this put back in here. So how you guys been doing? Comment down below and let me know some videos that you want me to do. And I'll try to do them. I got some videos planned coming up. i get this in here. Then I'll get back with you. But anyway... What supposedly happened is there was a live round that got put in the gun on a movie set that's not supposed to have live rounds nowhere on the set, not out in the vehicle, not in the prop master. They're supposed to either have blank rounds, which is a casing. Okay, don't look at this bullet. This is the bullet. The casing, and it's supposed to be cramped over at the end with no lead but only powder. So when you shoot it, you get the bang and get the flame, but nothing comes out, no projectile. So there's nothing could come out to hit anybody in any part of the body. And somebody snuck a live round into a Western gun, very similar to this one. So apparently he was cross-drawing. It doesn't matter if it's cross-drawn or what, but it was pulled. And it was aimed down at the camera guy, you know, the other actor, whatever, and it was pulled. Okay? It was pulled. And that little bit of smoke is from some dry powder from inside the barrel, so don't be alarmed at anything. But it was pulled. It went off. Whoever was down, oh, God, and Alec Baldwin stood there, he said, for 60 seconds in an interview, Said he was stunned. He didn't know. He knew they was hurt, but he didn't know there was a live round in here. The prop master supposed to check the gun. Look, everybody's supposed to check their guns. It's not something that they say, hey, you know, it's something that you need to do. It's a requirement. You sign paperwork saying, you know, hey, you know this here is a real gun, but it's got no live ammo and it's, it's blank ammunition. They let you know that this is a real firearm. It's not a toy. And it should be treated like a real firearm. That it is. 
And you should treat every firearm as if it's loaded, just like this one. You don't see me pointing it at my face and all that, unless I know for sure that it's empty. And where this is a Colt clone, it's C-O-L-T, Colt. So, it fired off. And then they're like, well, you know, you fired a gun. Well, he supposedly said when he cocked the gun back that he didn't fire it, that this gun went off. Now, this is where it comes in, where it says I had to make this video because I know a lot about these single action and double action. This is a single action, meaning it will not go off until you pull this, the single part back, and fire. A double action is where you can pull this back, fire it, or like my Smith & Wesson 686, you can pull the hammer back, fire it, or you can squeeze the trigger and fire it. That's the double action of it. So he says he pulls the gun, does whatever he's supposed to be doing for the scene, but he says he did not pull the trigger. Okay, when you pull this gun back, and you could drop it, whatever, but it will not go off. But say you dropped it in a wooded area, and it came down on a stick, it's going to go off. But when you got this cocked, this, there's no way you could take a hammer, anything. Okay, take this pocket knife right here. I'm not trying to damage the gun, but the point of it is it will not go off. You can put this in a vise. You can strike this as hard as you can with the hammer, and it will not go off. Plus, this is an older style gun, but with a modern Got that gate and all that inside. That doesn't have the pin on here like the old coats. But this is a replica, a firing replica. This is not a toy replica. This is a real firing European arms. So he says, Alec Baldwin says he didn't pull the trigger. Talk about he had his hand outside this. Well, this, there's no way I can leave this cocked right here, okay? And I can stick this in my glove box, which it probably wouldn't fit. But the whole point is I can stick this in my glove box and leave it this way. And it will not go off. So it won't ever go off. So what I'm trying to say is somebody loaded that round in there, whether it be him or somebody else. But for him to sit there and say he didn't pull the trigger, that it went off on its own, there's no possible way that this gun went off without him pulling the trigger. Because this gun, you could leave it cocked, like I said, with a live round in it, and you could leave it laying somewhere. You could put it on top of your refrigerator and leave it laying cocked with a round in it, which you're not supposed to do. You could leave it there for a year and come back and it'll still be cocked. It will not go off until you pull this. So him to sit there and say, or his lawyer to sit there and say, oh, you know, he didn't pull the trigger. Yeah, well, he he pulled the gun out, and he did this. You know, he pulled the gun. Uh-oh. <laughs> he pulled the gun back, cocked it, aimed it where they, the woman in the background was telling him, you know, point, point it this way at the foreground, blah, 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 whatever. I don't know. I'm not into, I'm not a movie maker. But anyway, it went off. So he was the one, there was, there was no ghost that caused it to go off. He pulled the trigger, and he's like, my, said, well, I let the hammer down, and it might have slipped. Yeah, that could happen. You could let it slip. That's a factor, but I'm not going to take this loaded and sit there and do that, but to him to sit there and say that is preposterous. It's a lie. He pulled the trigger, but we do not know that he slipped a live round in, up his sleeve in his pocket in his shoe, and snuck it in the gun. We do not know that he did that, but we don't know that he didn't do that. And you can't judge somebody by, oh, because he's got a beard and he's look, looking kind of rough and all that, blah, blah, blah. He, he didn't do it or he did do it. We don't know that. The prop guy, somebody had it out for, for him, and they, they need to investigate it. Don't need to say, oh, this is an accident. We'll set a new protocol that they have to use rubber guns only and they have to dub in the sound. 
I'm just letting you all guys know that this single action is probably one of the safest guns. Okay, before I got the 45 camber, I said I'll never have one. I only have these because they're safe. And it's got a half safe. You can half cock it and it will not go off. This is kind of built in safety, if you will, of the Old West. But they always say, load five, leave it on the empty chamber. That way, if something did happen, because if you just say you did have it cocked and it was on an empty cylinder, or on an empty chamber, I meant. Even if you had all these loaded up except one and you had it on the empty one, it went off. It won't do nothing because it's empty. But the matter of the fact is, they're not supposed to have live ammo on set and somebody slipped that sucker in there. Now you might say, Bubba, and some of the close-ups, the end of the here, the cylinder, you can see the end of the shell. Well, that's where they have a dummy shell, not a dummy round. A dummy shell is an empty shell with a fake, usually a plastic tip that's painted to emulate real lead for close-ups. But no movie set has or should have live rounds. It's not one of those saying, oh, we're just going to let everybody know, please don't bring no live ammo. No, it's the law. Okay, somebody slipped that round in there, whether it be him or he might not even have knew it. Somebody handed it to him. That very well could have happened, but it was no accident. You don't say, oh, I got in my box of a real ammo here and fake ammo here, and I grabbed the wrong one. No, there's not supposed to be any real ammo on the set. So I'm just letting you guys know that it's bullshit, basically. You two will probably flag it from my uh, language, but here it is, guys. My thoughts on the Alec Baldwin situation. You know, prayers go out to the families of both sides. But, you know, that's bull crap. I don't care what they say. I don't care what any fancy lawyer in any court tries to pull up and say. Oh, well, something could have happened to the gun. And it could have went off on its own. No, it, there's no malfunction of this. Even from the factory, there's no way that this is going to go off on its own. He just can't. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. As always, the Saws family, uh, like, subscribe. Add it to your favorite list, whatever. Share it. Tell your friends about it. And there will possibly be more Leatherface stuff coming in the future. More chainsaw videos. More gun reviews. And as always, thank you guys, and peace out, Leatherface out.